What's up, congrats, and thank you, Opportunity Class Investors, because this channel hit its first milestone. We had 100 subscribers, and we did it within the first month of being on YouTube, which is remarkable. And I really, truly appreciate everyone for liking, subscribing, commenting, and ringing that notification bell so hard it made the Liberty Bell jealous. And if you bought stock in that subscriber button, you probably outperformed Kathy Wood. <laughs> All right, so that's a little different. But what I can tell you is that I truly appreciate all the support you all have given me. And without any further ado, enough beating around the bush, you guys know what this video is about. It's about how we get so many subscribers. And just when I thought that what we were doing was really propelling our growth, it wasn't until after the 100 subscribers that some of the techniques we started implementing really started taking the channel off exponentially. So whether you have thousands of subscribers or zero, I think there's definitely value you can get in this video. So make sure you stay tuned all throughout the video. And I bet you didn't see this high level of quality coming so fast. I'm jumping right into the tips. Here we go. To kick things off, YouTube creators love using YouTube extensions like vidIQ and TubeBuddy to help with their search engine optimization. And if you're not sure what they are, I have them linked in the description below. But essentially, they can help you get ranked on YouTube, and I definitely recommend them. However, knowing that other YouTube creators will be going to other YouTube channels and trying to figure out what channel tags they're using, I decided to hide an Easter egg in one of my channel tags, knowing that there's probably not going to be a net negative effect of hiding a silly channel tag in there. So one of my channel tags, if you check it out, is going to be, if you're reading, please subscribe. And I think it's a unique way to show attention to the little details. So my first tip would be thinking outside the box, which leads me to suggest you like the smash button if, at the end of this video, you really appreciated the value I gave. The next thing I need to knock out of the way is a distinction between organic traffic and unorganic traffic. And you want organic traffic all day, every day. I found out about this one trick from a YouTuber who I won't mention, who suggested that you go on a famous YouTuber's channel like Graham Stephan and find the commenters that have zero subscribers. These are people that don't have YouTube channels but have a, an account, and they're not used to seeing notifications, which means if you subscribe to them, they'll get the push notification and they'll be more likely to check out your channel. However, without building a reputation, what good will that do you? I can tell you that in the same amount of time, you can go to a YouTube channel that you're familiar with and that you're growing with and thoughtfully watch and comment on their channel and it'll go tremendously further. For example, I visited Growing Financially's YouTube channel, which is linked in the description below and I definitely recommend you check out if you're looking for budgeting experience and tips because they're working through paying off debt and it's remarkable. And in this video, her daughter Cindy started doing some math with her and I found it remarkable that Cindy was a better mathematician than I'll ever be. And knowing that one detail alone was better use of my time than going on all the famous YouTube channels and subscribing to all the people with zero subscribers. Because by doing that, I got one of the most heartfelt messages that I could ever wake up to in the morning. And I'm gonna go more into the people focus in a minute. But what I want to stress here is you want to build a reputation with people and make connections organically and not do anything like sub for sub because it's not unorganic. You're not growing the channel, you're just growing the numbers and you want to focus on growing the channel. Not impressed yet? That's okay. I'll keep grazing the heat here and bring you this next tip, which is, have you thought about when you should make comments? Because there is an answer to that. The day you post a video should be the busiest day of your life. You need to grind. And the faster you can get attention to your video, the more successful it's going to be. So naturally, the day before a video, I'll stop commenting so that I have a backlog of comments that I can go to. I'll post a video and I'll go back to those comments and respond. Because personally, whenever I get responses to comments or any kind of comments to the replies I've made on other channels, I find that their time and effort that they took to invest in me is so meaningful. I will go back to the channel and watch 100% of their video, like the smash button, comment something thoughtful, and share it if I can. And I don't expect other people to do the same, but I know there are those out there who do. So naturally I'll treat everyone like that because I don't want anyone to be left out. And if you think, oh, I might not have the time for that, well over the course of a month I subscribed to over 300 finance YouTube channels. and. I might not have had the time for every single one, but I made the time because that's how determined and how important this was to me. So if I didn't have the time, I found a way to make the time because I want to give back to the people who are trying to give to me. And that's the importance that I give to all my audience members. And I recognize those last two were soft skills, but I'm going to hit you with some tangible ones now. And make sure you stay until the end because I've yet to reveal my ace in the sleeve. But moving on, I'm going to focus on YouTube channel specific items now. First and foremost is 
I have my featured video always set to my newest video. I manually change it every single time. And the reason is I always want my next video to be my best video. And whenever someone comes and visit my channel, I want that one to be front and center. Alternatively, you can do like a 90 second video to discuss who you are and what the channel is about. But I choose this one because I want to focus on the next video. So that's why I do that. And while we're on the topic of the YouTube channel, make sure that when you go to the about section of your YouTube page in the links section, provide your YouTube channel. Most people just do social media links, but I like to do the YouTube one and I like to have it first. And the reason is because if I put a title that says, please subscribe, it shows up beautifully on the channel banner. Some people like to include please subscribe within the graphics of the channel banner. But I believe that with people having different platforms that they view the channel on, sometimes it can be skewed and probably isn't as presentable. So I like to include it there and it looks real crisp. Now that brings me to a super cool trick I learned from the Tech It Realm linked in the description below. And that is a suffix you can include at the very end of your YouTube channel link. And what this suffix does, which is right here, is it will allow users to automatically be suggested to subscribe to your channel. And I believe that's just another way of hinting like, hey, you should follow along with me and just kind of suggesting it in a nice way. I don't feel like it's too spammy, uh, but if it ever came across that way, I'd delete it. But I feel like it comes off pretty good. Um, and you can use this link across your entire platform. You can use it on other social medias, the description in all your videos and in that link description. And the last tip I have before I get into my best tip, I have to present a quote to you, which is the best way to disarm your critics is to listen to them. The comment that I got that's on this thumbnail is actually a comment I received. And they were right. My video quality wasn't good. And I knew when I started YouTube, I didn't know what I was doing. But I knew I wanted to start because I knew I had this concept of opportunity cost investing that I needed to share with the world. And the truth is, I could have presented this a long time ago, but I was never bold enough to do it. And now that I'm here, I have so much to learn, but I'm ready to actually do it. And it's only because you guys are supporting me that I am actually brave enough to keep going on and doing what I'm doing. So if you ever have anything that you want changed or liked or disliked about the channel, I'd love to hear it in the comments section below. One of the best instances I've seen of this so far was Rommel building wealth. Apparently one of his audience members suggested that he moved a little further away from the camera. And in the next video, he adapted and fixed it and the quality was amazing. And it's for that reason, I will never not be subscribed to his channel because that level of attention and that dedication to his audience is something that I will admire for my life. And it's something that I will hold myself accountable to do the same. And to prove that I'm listening to the audience, there was another YouTuber that came on the comment section and suggested that my videos go from 18 to 22 minutes to be broken down into eight and 10 minute videos. And this is Alex Farkas, who runs a YouTube channel about helping other creators and innovators become better versions of themselves. And I recommend his channel too. And so I took his advice to heart and that's exactly what I did. I started breaking down my YouTube channels to shorter clips and trying not to talk about all the things at once. Like I said, I had this concept for a while and there's a lot I wanna say. In fact, I have such a huge backlog of video that I wanna to present to you guys that just making this 100 subscriber video was like, no, I need to get back to the money concepts. But I had to do it because out there is someone who's looking for motivation and looking for tips and I want to help you out there. So now I'm going to bring to you my absolute best tip. And in case you haven't guessed it, it is also written about in my book, Opportunity Cost Investing. People are the catalyst for change. If you think about the last opportunity that you found out about, or had the confidence to invest your time and your effort into, the source of it was probably people, right? And that's why I've been quoting so many people in this channel and why I'll continue to quote so many people and why I subscribe to over 300 finance, personal self-help and video quality channels over the course of the month. Cause I wanna know what everyone's doing and I wanna draw the best qualities from them so that way I can enhance myself by learning about them. And I've never proclaimed to be a self made man. I've always proclaimed to be a self help man because all these different characteristics about people are going to help you grow to something much larger than yourself. And this concept is exactly like what Brent Franklin used to do on his year edition. And that was he found the five highest performing people and found the traits that made them super successful. And he mirrored those. And then he found the five people that he found were unsuccessful or had the traits he didn't admire and found ways to mitigate the times that he would have exposure to those traits. Knowing that Ben Franklin did this, I took a page out of his book 
and maybe five wasn't enough for me, so I subscribed to over 300 finance, self-help, and YouTube video quality channels. So that way I can take all the qualities I truly admire and use that to grow my channel. In the description below, I have as many as I possibly could list under the 5,000 character limit. So if you're not under there, I truly apologize, but I tried to list everybody I possibly could. But I believe you should check that out. What's gonna distinguish you, the viewer, as someone who really grows our YouTube channel and not, is someone who actually goes link by link down the channel and subscribes, watches their channel, and leaves something thoughtful as a comment. Because these are power subscribers, as Joe Masick would call them, and these are people that I truly admire, and I need you to check out. But I know, I know, you get the concept. People are the catalyst for change. And even though I want to include so much more into this video, like why I'm prioritizing audio quality and what I learned from Anthony McLemore about the icon that you see in the bottom right corner and why I don't hide my subscriber count anymore, I'll save that for a future video. Maybe my 1,000 subscriber milestone, which hopefully you'll be there to join me with. But I still have so much more financial videos that I need to get and that are pretty time sensitive, like Eddie Yoon versus Opportunity Cost, my review of Ryan Scribner's portfolio update, and the one I'm probably the most excited for is the truth about the truth about stock splits and how they lose you market cap. Prove me wrong. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. I hope you consider drawing down your channel and what your channel does in the description below, leaving any kind of tips you have for future YouTubers and anything that really helped your channel grow down in the comment section below. But that's it. Until next time, and thanks for watching.